Hello, and welcome to another episode of Coffee's Connected. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about one of the uh, biggest equalizers for us in the UK game, which is film. Um, if anybody that's not using it at our level, we should be using it as much as possible. Uh, it's one of our, our biggest teaching tools, and I know that um, for the most part, everybody with us is filming. A practice, you know, run scally, pass scally, a scrimmage time. Um, obviously, we do all them, but we also incorporate as much film as we possibly can into every aspect of our practices. And um, this can go in many guises, many forms. You know, we've had we've had uh, cameras on on um, tripods, cameras on platforms, cameras on towers. We have coaches with, with cameras. We have coaches with iPads. Uh, anything that we can film that can make us better, we do, and it it makes for better, quicker practices, so that we're only really teaching the important mess ups, so we don't stop every single thing. So if we're, if we're running a new a new play, or if we're just running through plays, and there's a, and there's a footwork issue or there's a, a bit of a mess, we just let it go, and then we'll correct it on film that very same day. Usually we'll upload the film and then correct it and stick it on huddle with the analysis and stuff or do a um, film with the guys and talk them through the issues that they've had and that can fix. But the most important thing for us is that film is the most key ingredient to getting better in the UK because we see with all all aspects of football um, and people are filming and watching it but for us the way we only practice one time a week, two hours, so you can get as much as you can film. And obviously you can't do it every single week. You don't always have the body. But if there's a player standing around that doesn't want to practice, and in, in turn, if that player is trying to take a, take a free week because he doesn't want to practice that week and he's filming, you'll find nine times out of ten he's back in pads a week after if he doesn't want to do it because they don't want to do a film so many times before they, before they really don't want to just film it and want to get involved again. So if they're genuinely, genuinely injured, they'll happily do it. If they're just trying to get a, a vet week or something, you know, you'll find that they're back in action pretty soon afterwards if they're just trying to get a, 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 a free. We pass them all run. And if you have lots of coaches, you know, if you are blessed to have a, a big staff with six, seven, eight coaches, these are things that you can, um, you can incorporate into your practice plans and just try, try and um, go on everything. Uh, so some of the things that we did last last year. Okay, now we're in, we're in Indies here. And we, all, we, all we have, we have is this is from our running back perspective. This is from our running backs, and we also share it with our line. So our line talks and work with the, with the line guys. All we're doing in this one here, this is my third or fourth week. And we were putting in our two back stuff, so we already got our players in. And we were just adding the two back aspect to it. So you can see that we'll rotate all of our players through, including all the QBs that we have. At the same time, our receivers and our receiving coaches and uh, QB coaches. On the other side of the, of the dome, we're just focusing on our, our little aspect of it, taking the back quarter of the dome, and we're filming it, and we, we just want to get as many reps as we possibly can, and then we'll correct them later on in the day via this film, so that we can get more reps, more reps, so each person gets as many carries and as many handoffs and as many reps on the other as they possibly can, and then they can look at the film later on, correct it, rather than just focusing heavily on our scale, lower scale, we try, we try to get as much film as we can and break it all down and you'll find that if it's a stance, if it's a start, if it's a push step, we can, we can bring them a bring them point back to and they'll go, okay, that's our coach, we'll move on. Um, one of the things that the Revolution did while I was there, which was very good, was that all the rookies for the first four or six weeks until until they graduated, so they, they all wore yellow jerseys so they're easily identifiable. identifiable. So in this clip, this is our first clip of the day. We've got two rookies in the backfield. We're running our, our full back or our two back in Queen stuff. And you can see that we're just going to run the play through. One stamp for a quick rep. Then we can go back and cut the old line and go back and coach his guys to, to make sure they're running their, their track right. We, we, we can, uh, as running back coaches, check are we running this, this block right, which we are. We're looking for our lane, which we are. Do we have good? Do we have good uh, start and stance? 
this is our first step right you can see there's a full step there on the running back counting points all around and that's what we do and we, we try and get as many things as we possibly can into it so now we've got two we've got two more veteran backs in, the, in there our QB is still in we're not installing players right now or we're still in formation so we, we could be recording this just to see how we we look in our two back stuff and what we're doing okay and you can see that all we're trying to do is get it on film we're not worried about where we're hitting what we're doing we want to get the rep on the film see how we can make it better or see who's got a grasp of it as well that's all we're trying to do so uh so while we're doing this while we're doing this our um our practice doesn't stop we just keep going we keep going we keep going okay so you've got you've got a center center the state there this is all i can talk about bad snap these things happen and we don't we don't leave them up still make we leave them in so that they can talk about it okay and again you can see that we're running through plays like things happen as quick as you can again maybe they've got the athletic quarterback in and we're mixing in rookies and veterans and you can see that our our qb who was second year joined now technically was a rookie last year he makes a mistake on the snap bubbles it messes up the timing so i run back after grab 40 got the best exchange that's a coaching point and we'll bring that we'll bring that up on film and we'll uh we'll talk about it in a session like this online in a zoom or i'll make a video or, or the online Mac culture make a video and we'll talk about our our, uh, our problems there and then but as you say all we're looking at is to make sure that our rookies are running what we're asking to do correctly or in some fashion of correctness and then correct them down the line we don't want to stop the play at all A different, a different uh, attack. All right, so go and play. So we just want to make sure everybody knows what they're doing, and they are for the most part. We have to move on. We try to get as many guys in there as we can. See about snap again, and we, and we talk about what's going to happen in those situations, etc., etc. Okay. Got, got something else? Just give you a quick example. And like I said, that was filmed. That was filmed on a um, on a camera. And now, a few weeks before, a few weeks later, we got our same coach. And all we're doing right now is filming pass pro. It's not meant to be filmed, but we ask our coach to film it if we have them spare, if the player spare. And all we're looking at from a running back's perspective is that we're picking our goals up. Are we quick to get to take our step forward? Are we aggressive with it? If we're not waiting for it, it's so on and so forth. And for the veterans, it's, it's a nice learning tool. And for the rookies, it's not. It's an eye opener. As you can see, our QB is not supposed to get touched. But you can see we're still implementing our two back stuff. We're looking to get our guys in there. Watching the camera from that guy. So we're basically running our plays. Our practice stays the same speed and our same tempo. We want a high, high snap, high tempo. But this film enables us to go back and check it later on and bring it back and bring it back to the table the same evening or the other day after it's still fresh in players' minds what they did that day and then go, oh yes, God, he's, he's got, I did make a mistake there. And so on and so forth. The idea is like to have, have pass pro beyond beyond the line, just so that we can see where we where we're attacking and what we're going for. And we can see where we're making mistakes, and how we can fix it, you know. I don't need to tell you what goes right now because I'm not catching you up. I'm just giving you examples. But you can see that we're just trying to get as many things on film as we can, as many scenarios as we can. And that's what we're doing. So, all these little things that even though we wouldn't pass them around, like these are two rookies here, to the yellow jerseys, we know that there's, there's going to be uh, teams and issues. But this film for them will be, you know, like gold this for them. And they, and they eat up the information that they want. Again, it might be 10 reps, it might be 12 reps, whatever, whatever we can get in, whatever we can do, we usually do it. And then we mix in our rookies and our vets together, try to get as many things as we can because our vets are vets up there. Okay? So let's look at something else. Just to show you that. We do lots of different things. Another one, 
we do it that we did as much as possible it's not always possible but when you can get a story or when you can get your, your camera and you can run on air and it just goes to show you that basically you just run through your stuff as an offense and then go back to it door and you can see who's running the right route and who's you know who's making the mistakes here and there and you, and you can go with your stuff with your offense and just basically pick it apart and this this kind of stuff is as valuable if not more valuable than watching scrimmage film and, and run scale pass scale because if you can't run it on air then when are you supposed to run it so like, I'm, in this situation it's a great plan like if we're running an inside zone or a drive here are we running the bubbles or are we seeing the switch on they know what they're supposed to do on this play you can see they're both running their, their, their bubble to their side so it's great it's great to give them praise it's great to criticize them but it's a great tool to have in your locker and if you can do it on a regular basis and have that film at your your um, disposal the only way you can trend is upwards in my opinion so we'll we will do this as much as possible as much as humanly possible i'm not saying it would be every practice i'm not saying it would be only once once a year but we would film as much of a practice as we could every single week every aspect of it so some so we just we just film running back indies or all line indies and our all line car could go through that go through those with him. Anything that we could film, if we had the guys to do it, we would we would do it, the guys in the car to do it, we would we would do. And that's basically how, how in my opinion a team with less lesser not athletes but lesser uh recruitment areas like up here are able to compete because they put so much effort into it. Behind the behind the scenes, I mean, we, we they gave it their all, and they have so much so much uh, available sources coaches. Whereas it's not just one thing filmed; it's as much as you possibly can. If you could film more and more and more, we we would do it. You can see that we just go through our plays, and it's the plays that we install them inside that dome, and they're coming coming into our into the full offense, and then we attack it. And this is the, the building process goes on for our first game of the season, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, there was no season this time. It's supposed to be a screen, horrible. But this is where we, we take it back and we, and we learn it, right? We teach them and we make them better. Uh, obviously, we still have the, the, same, the same things that you would have if you, if you were a regular one camera team. You can only film one thing at a time, or we will film one scale every week, and we will film pass scale every week, and we will film scrimmage every week because that's, that's, our, that's our bread and butter. You know, these things, are, these things are what makes a team get better. But the additional filming of other aspects of, of your practice as much as possible, uh, for me, makes uh, the transition throughout the season so much smoother. And it's, and, it's, and it's those kind of things that we can really focus on doing. So I think that might be all of the different sprinkles that we do use. Um, that's, that's basically. That's basically it. So obviously, if you when when we film a scrimmage, if we have got the cameras and the people, then nine times out of ten, when we when we do film our scrimmages, or when we do film scrimmages, if you've got if you've got that capability to to uh, have multiple cameras, you can see there we've got a dog, we've got a dog pro on a stick, we've got a guy with a camera behind behind him on there, so that and, and a guy on, on the gantry. So in this situation, when we when we film a scrimmage, you can see that we've got a sideline angle. The end zone angle and the outline angle, giving us as much film as possible per play, and giving our coaches as much information as they can they can process and pass on back to the pass on back to the guys. So just to reiterate, gents, um, you can only film what you can film, but if you do have guys standing around, everybody has a phone. Most people have an iPad. 
bring them to practice, utilize what you have, film every aspect of what you can do, make the most of your two hours a week, or if you're lucky to have three hours a week, or if you are practicing twice a week, make the most of that time, stick it all up on your huddle. If it's not on your huddle, get it into a Zoom, get it into any kind of format you can make it, but make the practice time you've got better by film as much as you can and get as much out of each practice that you possibly can because at the end of the day, film will only make your team better. Yeah, so with that guys, I appreciate everything as normal. Thank you for joining us. Take care.